Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for April 19th, 2021. So today we have a favorable outcome and the card says, thank you for the beautiful outcome in this, excuse me, to this situation, which is perfect and fair for everyone involved. Thank you Archangel Michael for helping me trust and have faith. And the other card says, ask Archangel Michael to help you with this situation. Archangel Michael, thank you for assisting me with, and you describe your situ situation. Please help me be filled with faith and peace at all times. So you are definitely freeing yourself from something. You see this growth going on? You see how releasing changes your outlook? You see how you change your approach? Now everyone's going to be in a different space, but progress. I just hear progress. Now a favorable outcome. Let's look at that card. He's holding scales and they are balanced. So Archangel Michael is helping us to balance a situation, which means, you know, it depends on the situation, but, um, you know, the counterparts, like what is our part of that situation? What is it? What's the takeaway? What do we need to understand? And then with this, ask Archangel Michael to help you with this situation. Again, it's about getting clarity. What is the meaning of this? Now, I'm not encouraging people here to go over analyzing a situation and, and pulling on it energetically like that. But again, things pop up because we're supposed to have a soul level lesson around it. <laughs> so Archangel Michael can give you the courage and the clarity to look at a situation for what it is, release whatever you need to release, heal whatever you need to heal. And now what? Ah, now you're being guided. Ask for a sign from Archangel Michael and be guided in the direction that you feel yourself flowing. When we say go into the direction you feel yourself flowing, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to quit your job, leave your husband, and now you're, <laughs> you know what I mean? You're just running ahead and you're just doing all these things. Wait for the guidance. And that's what they're saying very, very clearly. Wait for the guidance and uh, wait for the clarity. Yeah, you got to get the clarity before you know how to move forward, right? So some of you, this is an exciting turn. So the focus today isn't future tripping. <laughs> it's not It's not going down the road of law of attraction and I'm going to try to contort this future of mine and whatever. You know, it's not that. It's more open your heart, let it be healed, release what is, you know, um, weighing you down. And that might be a personal belief about yourself. What have you been trained to believe? That money is hard to come by, that people like us are never successful, that you aren't lovable. That's part of that toxic thought grid that's been sort of, it's just interfering with our natural state of being. And it's put its sensors on us. If you want to picture it this way, it's put its sensors on us. And it's almost like electrical pulsations make us move and jolt. And, and now we're at the women will of something else. But you've always had the power to pull those off. It's going to tick off a lot of people. Sure but you don't have to partake if you don't want to. That is part for some of you out there who don't feel lovable. That's part of what has fed into that. Because if you're low, you're controllable. But when you unplug from that idea and you say, no, that's ridiculous. No, no. For some of you ladies out there, I don't have an ideal body. What's an ideal body? Well, you know what an ideal body is. Says who? Says who? How much beauty have we missed? Because we are reacting to something that's not ours. It, it feels artificial. There, there's like an artificial energy that pumps through us. And it makes us believe things, like I said, that keeps us in a low frequency in a low space. So you can detach from that. That could be the situation you are letting go of and finally having a favorable outcome because of it. But please do not do spiritual growth just to get things, okay? It's gonna backfire on you. It's not anchored into anything. Cool, all right. <laughs> so there's Gabriel. 
Ariel, all about material manifestation. Archangel Ariel, your passion, your fire, your wisdom, and your protected protection and truth. Yeah. So again, we were just discussing a few pieces of truth here. If you grew up, you know, in a school system where you didn't get straight A's and people always told you you were dumb, that's not a truth. You are not dumb. You just might have a different way of learning than the one way that was typically taught in the school system. Or you may need to work more with your hands. Maybe you learn by doing things. I'm, I'm thinking of the example of being in junior high school and we had shop class. Not my favorite, okay? <laughs> but we had to do shop class and we had to do home ec. So everybody had to do both of them. And I remember there were kids in there who would thrive because this is what they know how to do and the stuff they would make. I was like, wait, how'd you do that? <laughs> it was incredible, you know, and, and yet these were the kids sometimes, some of them, uh, I would say there was like, you know, at least two or three in there who everybody thought was like, you know, they were the kids that get the low grades. It's just because it, it wasn't conducive to their functioning, right? So I, you get what I'm saying here. But anyway, recapture your own self-esteem by understanding that what you've been taught to believe about yourself is not true. You're not dumb. You're not ugly. You're not unlovable. It's a bunch of nonsense. Open your eyes. See yourself through a new lens. See your truth. You're protected in doing this. Lean on your wisdom. And watch, there's, there's this sense of being reborn. Maybe that sounds a little dramatic, but <laughs> there's a sense here of being reborn. Give yourself that chance. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I am sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.